Hi, I'm Tom Edwards. I'm the Chief Digital Officer of the Agency Business at Epsilon. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about what I feel is one of the major trends heading into 2018 that we definitely need to keep an eye on as it's going to significantly impact consumer engagement and consumer experiences heading into next year. And that's specifically computer vision. So why computer vision in 2018? If you look back over the past few years, you see this evolution coming. 2016 was all about the year of the chatbot, and 2017 has been all about conversational experience, specifically voice-based experiences, with just the literal explosion between Alexa as well as Google Home, and now with the launch of Apple's HomePod coming up, supported by Siri as well. So now heading into 2018, you're seeing this focus shifting from this idea of desktop and mobile to what we call multi multimodal computing, to where it's not just about desktop, it's not just about mobile, it's the integration of voice, it's the integration of touch, and it's also the integration of vision. So with the rise of intelligent machines over the past few years, specifically machine learning, that's enabling the categorization and labeling of information. It initially started from a text perspective. So about three years ago, a lot of the voice-based uh, organizations that focus on natural language processing were able to take and label and construct various algorithms that you can begin to derive context from those, in those specific data sets. That could be context, that could be an occasion, that could be a number of different you know, psychographic elements that then lead to the rapid categorization of information. Now, heading into 2018, we're seeing the shift. We're seeing it from Facebook, we're seeing it from Google, we're seeing it from Pinterest, from Microsoft, and a number of others, to where there's this, this evolution towards the role of vision, and specifically computer vision, that's powered by both AI, and then potentially driving new types of experiences moving forward. Now that we've talked a little bit about the role that computer vision is going to play in terms of enhancing consumer experiences, I want to start talking specifically about the impact for us as marketers. So when you think about computer vision, we can think about a number of different facets. We can think about image and object recognition and the impact that that's going to potentially have on video, for example. We think about, from a consumer perspective, this whole idea of the camera as a platform and how that you know, if you've got two billion people around the world that have access to a camera, and we all know that, that emerging technology has empowered consumers and allowed them to create content, and that's what can really help us drive scale and adoption across a number of things. Now with the camera as a platform, we can actually create what's known as what I'm calling effect-based marketing now as well, where we can take and enhance uh, experiences but that are both physical and digital. So the other thing to consider too is this whole idea around how we can make the environment more contextual. And so from an advertising perspective as well, you think about what Snap is doing from a, from a patent perspective and how they're really looking at taking elements from say an individual Snap and applying it through computer vision to understand and recognize and develop context around the environment. So that that then becomes yet another canvas for how we'll actually begin to engage uh, with consumers. And then finally, it's this association and connection between computer vision and virtual assistants. As you begin to think about the potential here, as assistants become more familiar with our day-to-day -day activities, you begin to see more predictive APIs and predictive models built into the, our interactions with those systems. Then you combine that with computer vision to where we can overlay things like location, we can overlay things like other factors of situational awareness and context around those things and map that against some of our, our known preferences. You can begin to really unlock a number of different experiences. And that ultimately leads towards where I feel like that computer vision is a foundational element towards driving to mass adoption of augmented reality. So, you know, a lot of us played Pokemon Go last year. We've seen kind of the, the evolution and advancement of some of the, the volumetric depth capture systems. We've seen, uh, you know, I've talked before about uh, Google's Tango from that perspective. And you begin to then append these with smart intelligent systems combined with computer vision to where you're able to recognize, you know, actually position certain elements within a physical space and drive an interaction around that. 
it opens up completely new models for how we're going to be engaging with consumers. It's no longer, again, just about the desktop and mobile. It's about the role that voice is going to play. And it's also going to be a huge contributor around either whether it's content discovery, new products, um, pulling more physical environments into the digital world and vice versa. Um, that's where computer vision is going to play an incredibly compelling role in 2018. So now that we've talked about some of the potential applications for marketing, let's talk about who's actually going to be engaging with a number of computer vision enabled technologies. The reality is it's going to be pretty much all of us that, that own a smartphone. But let's focus in on Gen Z for just a minute. This is the first truly mobile native generation. So you think about it, they learn to swipe before they learn to speak. And so when you think about the usage behaviors specifically, you know, 69%, we did a recent kind of quant study on this, and 69% actually view the camera as a specific platform. 66% um, of Gen Z individuals actually own a YouTube channel or have it, have it maintain a YouTube channel. And basically 83% use effect-based elements within some of the, the messaging applications like Facebook and specific, Facebook Messenger as well as Snapchat specifically as well. So you start looking at the opportunity and then you start looking at how a lot of the behaviors associated with this, the introduction of vision, the, the image recognition component, the um, expectation for fun augmented reality filters in terms of these experiences are gonna be just a, a key foundational element moving forward. So we've talked about marketing application, we've talked about potential users. Let's talk a little bit about how this is going to be brought forward to the masses. So you've heard, I was at Facebook F8 earlier this year, that's their developer conference. And in Mark Zuckerberg's keynote, he basically referenced the fact that Facebook views the camera as the next platform. So fast forward now to just a few weeks ago with the Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference and their launch of ARKit. So what you're probably gonna end up seeing with the launch of the iPhone 8 is a 3D camera supported. So you're already beginning to see elements to where developers are already playing within ARKit and enabling their applications to, to integrate new augmented reality experiences here as well. So what normally ends up happening is once consumers are then empowered with the tools and they can kind of take and begin to create, you start seeing acceleration. There's already such a large footprint associated with, uh, with Apple. There's already such a large footprint with Facebook. You know, they're already focused heavily on the integration of machine learning and image recognition. So you're gonna see a really rapid evolution of these experiences. And from a marketing perspective, you have to be ready for the shift towards you know, the camera as a platform, effect-based advertising, the ability to integrate real-time data into these experiences. These are just gonna become the table stakes of marketing as we head into uh, 2018. Well, that's it. So thanks for, uh, thanks for watching the video today. Again, we talked about a lot today. We covered the idea of the role computer vision is gonna play in a multimodal computing future. We talked about who's going to be potentially engaging with computer vision enabled experiences. You know, the role of image and object recognition, uh, the environment, uh, contextual elements being pulled from your environment, map to intelligent assistance that can then drive more relevance around the experience, but ultimately being the foundation for an augmented reality future. All right, as usual, you can find me at uh, blackfin360.com or follow me on Twitter at, black, at, at blackfin360. You can also now find me on Alexa. So just simply enable the blackfin360 skill directly from the Amazon skill store and stay up to date with the latest content. But again, Tom Edwards, Chief Digital Officer of the Epsilon Agency Business. Have a great day.